Tonight, News Channel 5 investigates uncovers new questions about Gabriel Hansen, the controversial candidate for Franklin mayor. Among the questions, where do she and her husband really live? It turns out you may get a different answer depending on where you ask the question. News Channel 5 chief investigative reporter Phil Williams continuing to dig into the story and Phil. It's a story that keeps on giving. That's 100% correct. Of course, our investigation began with that photo of a group of women she claimed were supporting her campaign, some of whom said they didn't even know her. Now we've discovered that she and her husband tell one story about where they live when they're in Franklin and a completely different story in Chicago. Now it's time to tell you my story. The story that Gabrielle Henson tells about how she ended up moving from Chicago to Franklin is a story of how she claims God personally spoke to her in a time of financial crisis. And God said, you're moving to Franklin, Tennessee. And I said, what? Franklin, Tennessee? I've never even been to Franklin, Tennessee. I, I don't know anybody and I don't have any money either. And that's what Hanson says led her and her husband to settle down in Franklin. It's a story that she repeats as she campaigns for mayor. Her husband Tom is in commercial real estate and they reside in West Haven. Alderman Hanson, how are you today? Hi, wonderful. Thanks for having me. In fact, when Gabrielle Hanson was sworn in as Franklin Alderman in 2021, Tommy Hanson was there at her side. So help me God. But back in Illinois a few months later, Tommy Hanson, the congressional candidate, had a different story. Uh, I live 35 miles from here in the southern tip of the Illinois 5th Congressional District, River North, off of Michigan Avenue and all that. And as he's saying this, where is his wife? His wife is sitting right at a table, right next to him, recording him. And she's not standing up saying, no, no, you don't live here. She's playing along. She's playing along. Maggie McGonigal lost the Republican nomination to Tommy Hansen last year. I pledged to bring red state politics to Illinois, the state you have dreamed of living in like Florida, Texas, and Tennessee. It was his third straight campaign to represent parts of Chicago in Congress since Gabrielle Hansen had claimed they moved to Tennessee. At one Chicago area event, McGonigal says the couple was spotted in this car with historic Franklin plates. And when you register your car, that's your primary residency. And so he was showing up at campaign events in Chicago in a car with the Franklin plates. Yes, and his wife, Gabrielle. We followed the paper trail to see how the Hansons went from being in dire financial straits to claiming a home in an affluent community in Franklin, as well as a condo in downtown Chicago. And the paper trail tells its own interesting story. In June 2015, records show Gabrielle Hansen took her name off their Chicago condo, quit claiming or transferring her interest to him. A year later in 2016, Tommy Hansen filed for personal bankruptcy. Her name was not listed in the petition. Then 11 days later, Gabrielle Hansen bought the Franklin townhome they would call home in her own name for $369,000. Most of it was mortgaged. Voting records show she has voted in Williamson County he has continued to vote in Chicago. They definitely have some agenda behind them, but what is it? As mayor, Gabrielle will continue. Now, Gabrielle Henson is running for Franklin mayor with images of her husband at her side, while Tommy Henson has recently been spotted in Chicago wearing a Henson for Congress pin on his lapel. McGonigal says he's collecting signatures to run again. From an election law perspective, you can't live in two different states. No, you can't. I, mean, I don't understand how he got away with it for three times already, and it's fourth time. Whatever the explanation, Gabrielle Henson says she's doing exactly what she thinks God wants her to do. And he brought me to Franklin, Tennessee, and I'm not leaving until he tells me where else to go. Now, Ms. McGonigal says she hired private investigators who concluded that the evidence was overwhelming that Tommy Hansen actually lives in Franklin, but obviously that's not the story they tell up in Chicago. Well, a lot of us have seen that video online where you tried to interview her, and I know that you've tried to interview her again. That's right. I reached out to her and to her husband this afternoon to get their response. We have not heard back. More to come. Uh, we have a lot more questions, so I think that's probably a pretty safe bet. All right, Phil, appreciate it.